What is up, everybody? It's your boy, the big cat. We're back. We got more Ravnica remastered. The most exciting little set we've seen in a while. Honestly, uh, looking back at some of the singles, like, you know, obviously prices are coming down as packs get open, but there's some really cool stuff in this set and some stuff that's going to be really cool to hold for a while. Um, yeah, I hope this is actually a sign of things to come. Before we go off to Thunder Junction, I think is the next set, which is crazy to me. Cowboys. I hope everybody's ready for Magic Cowboys. Anyways, let's get into it. Got our token on the top, as always. Ooh, just right off the bat, Supreme Verdict. Very nice. Foil, retro frame, Supreme Verdict. That's very cool. And that's one thing I'll say. This, this is quite a large set, but there's a lot of like classics in here and a lot of great commander cards. Beautiful. And there's our breeding pool. Very nice. Full art breeding pool. We like to see it. Oh, wow. The duplicate Supreme Verdict, in the foil, which is not bad. You know what? We'll take that hit. It's not a mythic, but that's just fine. That's great. There, Infernal Tutor. Okay. You know, Infernal Tutor is such a funny card. I feel like for a while it's such a hot card, but it's a throwback, and it's just so funnily worded. It's pretty cool. And we get to our commons and uncommons. These I love these retro frame guild gates, and I signet. And then we're trying to keep our eye out, so the uh, paying attention around this set coming out and going into release. There's a few spicy little commons and uncommons to keep an eye out for uh, persistent petitioners. Ooh, excuse me. Persistent petitioners. There's a foil dread bore in that retro frame again. Looks beautiful. Look at that classic dread bore. Domri Raid. Little anime Domri Raid. Not a huge fan of that. Kind of a whiff card, especially as our first mythic, but we'll just keep moving along. And see how we do. Master of Cruelties. Now there's a mythic. Boy, that's a fun card and commander card. You know, they've reprinted him a couple times now. I think his price has come down a fair bit, but still a great card. You know, combos with Alesha, Smiles of Death, and a lot of other things. So that's a fun mythic for us to see. Thrash and Threat. That's a fine little gruel split card. I love this flat red flame frame. Excuse me. Skewer the critics. Can't talk tonight. Putrefy. So yeah, as I was saying, there's a couple cards we're looking out for here. Skullcrack, um, Farseek, you know, just some of those really, really handy commons and uncommons. A card that is making me really happy. Ooh, there we go. Foil anime. Cyclonic Rift. That's gorgeous. That looks awesome. Look at that. It makes those straight. This really actually makes this look the best. Just the way that shines. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, there's Atomic. This actually version of Atomic is pretty popular right now. You know, a lot of people like to play this card. Nice little art on it. Stitch in Time. That's a goofy little card. And Bop. I was just going to say, it, it does my heart good to see Bop doing pretty well. Um, I love this Ravnica Bop art. And I think they reprinted that when they brought it back in M10, too. And that had been the last time, you know, it had been three or four years since Bop was legal. And then Bop kind of settled in to become like a dollar card. It went from like a dollar to ten dollars up and down over the years but it's just nice to see bob back and i love the anime bob it's such a nice card just respect bob you know it doesn't let you down it it's consistent so yeah just trying to keep because the one thing i've noticed is the set seems so large even though there are some commons and uncommons that uh, are worth a few dollars and worth keeping your eyes out for i haven't seen many of them Oh, Aurelia, Exemplar of Justice. So there's the retro frame mythic. You know, I'm not as huge a fan of this version of Aurelia either, but um, they that's the one they chose to reprint. Not that she's bad. I mean, a four-drop commander with flying and mentor, she's pretty aggro. You know, she. I can see how that card will end games quickly. It's our other mythic there. Um, stomping Ground, not bad. Nice little shock line. Ooh, Thespian Stage with the retro frame. You know, just when I thought Thespian Stage I was cooling off on, I started playing it even with Triomes. And, like, untapping your Thespian Stage with, like, another Triome in, you know, four or five color commander is actually pretty useful. Like, Thespian Stage is pretty cool. That's nice. That's a, that's a fun little hit right there, Retro Frame. Another split card, Bedeck and Bedazzle. <laughs> if you Bedeck... Okay, it's a pump spell in Rakdos. That's a little funny. And then for six, destroy target non-basic land, deals two damage to target opponent on planeswalker. Boy, I really that's a that seems pretty terrible to me. 
again, Retro Guild Gate. Look at how good that looks with that foil. Gorgeous card. Necromoeba or Narcomoeba. It's a fun card. Remember when that was just a dominant card? I mean, it still sees playing decks, but there's wow where that was like one of the best creatures in the game. All right, Elf Knight. Copy enchantment. That's a goofy little card, but again, that beautiful retro blue frame. Look at that foil. It looks fantastic. That frame. Copy enchantment. Oh, a little Savra. Anime Savra. That's a fun one. That's cool. Green, black, and two. She's an elf. So great for Lathril. Whenever you sacrifice a black creature, pay two life. If you do each other player sacrifice a creature, whenever you sacrifice a green creature, you may gain two life. So actually pretty good if you kind of added like an aristocrats engine to lathril which wouldn't be too hard to do i might look at that that's a fun card tight spout tyrant a saucy little card but these days he's gonna he's he's destined to be a dollar right now just like our buddy mind beach mass and we'll go through see if there's any of those fun man shambling shell is a good card. Ex Exaltation. You always got to check these packs too because sometimes there's a shock land down in there. But this is a pretty quiet box so far, honestly. Only two shock lands. Only a couple mythics, not much. Ooh, but there we go. Foil full art overgrown tomb. That's a beautiful card to hit. Look at that. Man, these are great. Just, just raining in shock lands. <laughs> I mean, back in the day, two or three in one booster box was kind of what you would get in, in OG Ravnica, if I recall. Oh, there he is. What a goofy guy. That anime Protean Hulk. Funny, funny little card. Good old Protean Hulk. Silly guy. Mizzix Mastery. Just fine, you know? That's just a fine card to play in Commander. Like I said, these are very, like, Commander-focused things here um oh foil persistent petitioners though and again dope art on that card look look at how sick that is yeah these are going for almost a dollar maybe great with bruvac decks you know so that's our first one i think we've opened revival and revenge revival seems great return target creature with mana value three or less from the graveyard to the battlefield for two i love that revenge double your life total target opponent was dude this card is awesome Double your life total? Target opponent loses half their life rounded up for six? This is a great card. Wow. That's an awesome card. What a what a painful spell. You're playing black white life gain and then you're, you know, you're 50 in commander and go to 100 and your opponent goes from 40 to 20. That's a real kick in the face. It makes exsanguinate a lot easier to win the game with. All right, off the top in this next pack, we got Tomic and Foil, little anime Tomic. And a Fibble Thip. We'll double it up on the anime there. That Fibble, this Fibble Thip art is so cute, but you know, I'm not really a huge Fibble Thip fan. When he enters the battlefield, draw a card. If it entered from your library or is cast from your library, draw two instead. When he becomes the target of a spell, shuffle it into the library. I mean, that's just fine. He's cute. Oh, Divine Visitation. Retro frame. Beautiful card. Really fun. This card's value is coming down a lot with these reprints, though. So, it'll be chilling, but not a bad card at all. Response and Resurgence. What do we got here? Five damage target attack and a blocking creature. Eh, that's not terrible. It's mediocre. And then creatures you control again. First Strike and Vigilance after this main phase. Okay. Actually, I think that's playable. A second combat with First Strike and Vigilance. That's that's not a bad effect. Those are those are decent enough to play a couple of in Commander, right? Silhana Ledgewalker, another good common. Pull those out now. Upgrade your popper decks. Remember Sc Scab Clan Mauler? Man, I used to play this guy too. He's awesome. Bloodthirst. Bloodthirst is a great ability. They had it in. What? It was the it was the Gruul ability the first time the Gruul showed up, and then it was also an M twelve. Is that? Is that the only times? Ooh, nice. Foil spark double. Very nice to see a little spark double there. Spark double's price is really going to chill out for a while, um, just with how available it is in this set, but gorgeous card. Nice to see it. Blood Crypt. Full art Blood Crypt. Very cool. Very, very cool. Sword of Parons. Just fine in the retro frame. You know, they were just reprinted this recently as a... Um, Lord of the Rings card, too. So that card's probably chilling out. Gideon Blackblade. 
man, it's wild to see a Gideon card. Like, this guy's just been dead for, what, War of the Spark? So, like, four years. You know what I mean? Like, five years. Anyhow, as long as it's your turn, he's a 4-4 with Indestructible. It's still a Planeswalker. And then you prevent all damage that would be dealt to him during your turn. For plus one, up to one other target creature you control. Gains Vigilance, Lifelink, or Indestructible. And then for minus six, Exile. Okay. So he's just kind of a typical aggro Gideon character card. Cool Guardy Thug. Ooh, Chromatic Lantern hiding back there. Very nice to see. Very nice to see. A little Chromatic Lantern. Very cool. Hey, you got to watch those spots where there's, like, signets and stuff, but they usually just tuck a little... They can tuck a little uh, shock land on there, or like, a Chromatic Lantern, apparently. Lavinia, Azorius Renegade. I do not know much about Lavinia. Each opponent can't cast non-creature spells with mana value greater than the number of lands that player controls. Okay. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast... Okay. So another kind of like hate bears, prison stacks. This is probably great in like Azorius... Um, a grand, grand Arbiter Augustine. Like this is fantastic for him, right? Their spells cost more. And then if it does cost more and they don't have the lands, they can't even cast it. Like, okay, I can see where Lavinia fits in. Very cool. Karlov of the Ghost Council. So the anime Karlov, very cool. <laughs> you know, I like this where he's just cackling this big mean guy. He just got kind of like, hey, hey, hey. Look at this guy. Well, that's that's fun. Legion War Boss, just fine. And our split card is Assure and Assemble. We're going to assure it by putting a plus one, plus one counter on target creature, and it gains an indestructible. Okay, so an indestructible effect for two on an instant is playable for sure. And for six, create three, two, two. Oh, okay, if you're in the right, if you're in a deck that wants to make a couple creatures quickly, this is a superb card. Great flexibility. Guild gates. Oh, another petitioner. Very nice to see. And let's fly through Cranko's command. So cool, but we want that retro frame. The red retro frame is amazing. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. Here we go. Bird. Godless Shrine. Dope. Retro frame. Foil Godless Shrine. That's sick. Very cool. Ooh. Anime Niv Mizzet. That's also a very nice card. That's a really cool card, honestly. Yep. Yep. Makes you want to make a Niv Mizzet deck, doesn't it? Oh, Prime Speakers of Ghana. Another. Another. Commander Powerhouse, very nice. Ooh, and a Rakdos, man, this was the Commander's pack. Rakdos Lord of Riots in foil. You can't cast a spell unless an opponent lost life this turn. He's flying trample, and creature spells you cast cost one less for each one life your opponents have lost. I've got a friend who plays this with a bunch of huge Eldrazi, so he hits everyone with an earthquake effect and then just starts playing Emrakul for free. It's awful. Um, awful good. <laughs> Rakdos, he's a mythic. What am I doing? This went from a mythic pile to an anime pile. I'm all over the place. I'm getting lost in, in my Ravnica. There's your skull crack. Always nice to see a little skull crack popping up in the packs. All right. Two more to go. Is there a big hit in here? It's kind of just muddling along. This isn't really been much special. That war boss doesn't look like the way we're going to get there either. Okay, this might be another little slow, slow turn here. Ooh, that's not where he goes. It's almost a token. In Temple Garden. Hey, that's not bad. Beautiful art on that. I love the art on that Temple Garden. And again, shock lines. You know, I'm not upset to open a shock line. Like, heck, it's like, dude, you're kind of breaking even on your pack. It's not bad. Shock lines look like they're going to hold about $10. Pack rat. The OG art. Yeah, sick. With On the retro frame. That's so cool. Nice little pack rat. Oh, another Karlov. Man, we are Karlov heavy in this box. All the Karlovs, debt to the debt fliss, isn't bad to see. Definitely play that. Might as well make a Orzov deck after opening this stuff, right? There's actually, I mean, again, I will say, I think for Commander, this set is amazing. It's opened up so many things. Oh, wow, foil anime Savra. So, very cute, very fun. That's cool. I'm not sure how much that's going for, but great little card. And that and the anime bop, I think this is such a dope card. Love to see it. What a cool card. What a cool card. Pariah Shield. Hey, that's fine. You know, Pariah Shield seems to have its use. And Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Sacrifice two other creatures. Any number of target players each lose two life and sacrifice a creature. And then you add two black and draw a card. That's an awesome card. Very cool. Well, 
So we scan through here to see if there's any other little hidden treasures and other debt to the debt list, excuse me. That's about it, but you know, hey, this was just fine. Still a very cool product. I mean, there we go. What, six, six shock lands, not too shabby. One in about every two packs, which is uh, pretty, uh, pretty good, you know? Almost a cover there, and let's see. Bop, some Savras, Rakdos, Niv Mizzet, Karlov, man, all the command, all the anime commanders, Protean Hulk, Aurelia. That Cyclonic Rift is pretty juicy, gotta say that. And a Master of Cruelties is a lot of fun. So um, yeah, and then I'm sure there's a few nice little hits in here. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.